I have to admit something. I'm a big fan of The Bachelor. It's not entirely my fault. Back a million years ago when it first started airing, that very first Bachelor, he was friends with a guy I was dating at the time. They knew each other distantly. So of course I had to watch. And I am just a big cheesy romantic and I love looking for a potential love story, not to mention all the drama. So I'm hooked, it's my guilty pleasure TV. But I also realized that I love watching it because you can really see the stories of resilience and, and their attitude of these contestants and how that plays into how far they're gonna make it on the show. So last night I was watching the first episode of the new season and this one gal was there and she started having a meltdown on the date because she gets motion sickness and she seems to have a phobia about her motion sickness and started launching into this story of her childhood going on the teacup ride at Disneyland, like the tamest ride at Disneyland. Um, and of course she was sitting there waiting to get on this big gyroscopy thing and she didn't want to barf in front of the bachelor. Totally understand that which of course she did later barf. And it reminded me there was a contestant a few seasons ago, she had all these phobias, it was like dogs and bumper cars, some kind of weird phobias. Gals like this do tend to make it several episodes in The Bachelor, they don't get kicked off right away, but they also don't tend to make it all the way to the end. Now on the flip side, there are the women who have no fear. They're like, yeah, let's jump out of an airplane. Let's go skinny dipping. I'm not afraid of anything. Those women tend to make it at least several episodes in too, but they also don't seem to make it right to the very end. The competitors who seem to make it the furthest are kind of in that sweet spot. They don't have all the phobias and, 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 and all the fears and all the nerves, but they don't have no fear. They have some healthy fears of things like jumping off of a bridge or getting hurt and they express it to the bachelor but they don't seem to make it the bachelor's problem to solve they're fully willing to accept it solve it themselves deal with it but they communicate it put it out there and then deal with it those are the contestants who seem to make it the farthest there was actually an example of a gal on a date last night who seemed to do that so how does this apply to your life well, you may never go on The Bachelor, hope you don't, but there's a sweet spot. Those of us who are afraid of everything, freak out all the time, we may not make it as far as we want. But the same goes for those people who feel like, I'm not afraid of everything, anything, I'm just gonna go for it, I can do anything. Those people may not be being realistic or honest and they may not be communicating with the people around them. The sweet spot being honest and authentic about your fears, your abilities, your limitations, what you feel, that's actually how you get the farthest. So I hope that you will accept this advice because I am definitely here for the right reasons.